Hello Harlem High School and welcome to the 2021-2022 school year. We are so excited to have you here at school this year. It's going to be a great year. A lot of people have been working very hard to get things ready for you and we are so excited to see you come into the school this year. My name is Jeremy Boyce. I'm the new principal here at Harlem High School and I am so proud to be starting my time as principal working with this group of students and this group of community members. It's gonna be a great year. This video is to serve as an orientation for you so you get a little bit of a taste of what it is we have here at Harlem High School, a little bit of things that'll make you a little more comfortable coming in here if you are a new student to Harlem High School, and then just some, some, some stuff you're gonna to need to know to help you out. Of all the things that you learned today, and hopefully when you come attend the open house part of the orientation from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock today, August 9th, I want you to know that everybody here works for you. And that if you ever need anything, you can come to me. I work in the main office. You can come anytime to talk to me as your principal or anyone else who works here because it is our job to serve you. And your success is our top priority. So as we go through this video, you're gonna see a bunch of different uh, faces of people who work here, and they're all here to help you out and for you to have a good experience as you start the year here at Harlem High School. The first person we're gonna hear from is our new associate principal, Mrs. Boonthong. She's gonna to talk to you about what it takes to be successful here at Harlem High School. Hi, I'm Maria Boonthong. I'm the new associate principal here at Harlem High School. I'm going to review some academic and personal success strategies with you as we shift back into fully in-person learning. First and foremost, accountability is key. Um, accountability includes accepting responsibility for your actions, um, being accountable for your results, and taking ownership when you make mistakes. Whether you excelled or struggled in the past, this is a new school year and a new opportunity to reset and restart in a positive way by taking personal ownership of your learning. Here are a few ways that you can do that. First and foremost, um, academic success starts with being on time and attending classes on a daily basis. It's much easier to learn when you have the in-person support of your teachers and your peers. Next, it's important that you complete your work on time. I know homework and classroom, classroom work and other assignments only count for a small portion of your overall grade. However, this work is great practice and will help to ensure that you're progressing towards mastery of standards. The next thing you can do is check your Skyward um, account for updated grades. Um, this year we'll be pushing out grades to parents on a bi-weekly basis. However, um, it's important that you check Skyward frequently so that you have an up-to-date understanding of where your current grade is so that you can fix things um, when necessary. Communicating with teachers is also important. You should communicate frequently with your teachers about classroom content. However, please be considerate of their professional and personal responsibilities. Um, it's not fair to expect an immediate response from your teachers. Give them some time to respond. Um, it's also important that you advocate for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask questions or reach out to the appropriate person or resource um, that Ms. Dawson will discuss with you later in this presentation. Personal, ex personal success at school also requires ownership. Um, this includes having a positive impact on our school culture. Um, you can do this simply by having a positive attitude, cleaning up after yourself, and being respectful of those around you. Um, you can also uh, impact the school culture by supporting others and off by offering to help. Um, you can help new students. Um, you can help with different activities throughout the building. Um, or even check in with people when you notice they may be struggling with something. The next thing you can do for personal success is to get involved in school activities. Um, this can be clubs or sports, um, and you will learn a little bit more about those later in this presentation um, from Ms. Hoffman Carr. Um, that's all I have for you. Uh, I am super excited for you guys to start a new school year, and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and uh, beginning my first year as a Husky, please feel free to stop by my office at any time if you should need something. Thanks. Thank you, Mrs. Boonthong. I'm going to talk a little bit now about assessment or grades. 
You're going to notice that grading at the high school level is a little bit different than it was at the middle school, although there are quite a lot of similarities. One thing you absolutely need to know, when you pass a class here at Harlem High School, you will earn a credit. You need 24 credits in order to graduate from Harlem High School. We will make sure you get all your graduation requirements and we'll make sure that you have classes that put you on a career pathway that you're interested in, that's meaningful for you, that provides opportunities down the road, and that is challenging. When we provide those for you, we'll also include all of your graduation requirements, but it is so, so important that you pass your classes in order to earn those credits to be a Harlem graduate. A little bit more information about grading. Grades here at Harlem High School will be established, will be based on established criteria, clearly specified learning goals, and performance standards. What that means is you will always know what you're being graded on and what you're responsible for learning. Process skills like behavior, work, organization, timeliness will be reported on a report card, but it will be separate from your academic grade. What goes into your A, B, C, or D will be your growth your mastery, and your skill development. We will also report how you're doing with what we're gonna call process skills, like behavior and timeliness. Grades will reflect the most recent information on learning and growth by the student, and evidence of growth or mastery will replace earlier data on the same skill. If you continue to grow, we will use your growth as the determining factor of your grade. So if, you, if you're not getting it right away, but you grow and you figure it out, we're gonna make sure you get credit for figuring it out. Students will be allowed multiple opportunities through various ways and modes to demonstrate their learning, including retakes and revisions. We're going to offer you many different ways to show us what you've learned, much, many different types of tests, many different types of presentations, group projects. We, want, we try to vary it up so that you have a really well-rounded and wholesome experience here at Harlem High School. Also, if you feel like you've grown after a test and you think you've mastered the skills even more, you can do a retake and earn a higher grade. Students will be a partner in the learning process, understanding where they are on the learning continuum and be a part of formulating the next steps in learning, specifically goal setting. You will play an active role in your education and help set up goals so that we know that we're making sure that you're learning what you need to learn to be successful. Grades will provide timely feedback and communicate information to students and parents about an individual's growth, mastery, or lack thereof. Grades will be coming out timely. We are actually going to send them home every two weeks so that you can see exactly where you are and your parents can see exactly where you are on your learning. It's a very exciting time to be here at Harlem High School. Again, when it comes to grades, I want to make sure to stress it's extremely important that you earn those credits. Do the work that your teachers ask you to do. Challenge yourself and you'll be successful. I'm going to turn it over now to a couple of our assistant principals to talk to you a little bit about some different programs we have about positivity here at Harlem High School. What's up Harlem? I'm Mr. Lemons, one of the assistant principals here. Uh, some of you might remember me from your time at Harlem Middle School. I'm super excited though to be back in the building where I actually started my educational career and I will be working with students primarily last names starting between A and E. Hey Harlem, I am Mrs. Dimmer. I am new in my role as an assistant principal here at the high school and I'm really excited to get to know each and all of you. Um, I will be primarily working with students last names S through Z, but anytime you want to stop in and chat, have questions or concerns, you can find me in student services. And here at Harlem, we place a lot of emphasis on respect, responsibility, safety, and citizenship. And when we focus on those, it ensures that we will all have great success. Yeah, and as we see these things, we're definitely going to celebrate them in a lot of fun ways. So stay tuned as we roll out Husky Pride throughout the school year. Thank you, Mrs. Dittmer and Mr. Lemons. Mrs. Dittmer, we're so excited to have you on the administrative team. And Mr. Lemons is coming back to the high school after serving at the middle school as an assistant principal. We're very excited to have him on the team as well. Now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Turner and Ms. Dawson Foley to talk to us a little bit about safety and different resources that we have here in the building. Hello everyone, my name is Shane Turner. I'm an assistant principal here at Harlem High School. Uh, the letters in my part of the alphabet are last names M through R. So if your last name begins with M through R, I will be your assistant principal and I am located in student services. Um, I am also in charge of the safety plan and drills for the Harlem High School uh, building. Um, we'll do a variety of drills throughout the year, ranging from tornado drills to um, 
fire drills, to various uh, other drills that deal with safety and building security. I work hand in hand with our school resource officers, Deputy Wes Kemp and Deputy TJ Griesman, who are located here at the school. Uh, they are available anytime for any questions that you may have or any issues that you may have. Um, they are also available during lunch hours in the school store. Uh, so feel free to stop by and say hi or if you have any issues. Um, and anytime if you have any issues with building security, anything that's going on, uh, safety here at Harlem High School, please feel free to stop in my office. Um, I'm always up for suggestions or anything else that anybody wants to add. It is always an ongoing process and security and uh, safety here at school is one of the biggest things that we strive for here at Harlem. Um, also, if you see something, always say something. So that's a, that's a great rule to live by. Please come by and uh, let us know of anything that's going on, anything that worries you. Um, we are here for you to make sure that you feel safe and are able to achieve academically to be your best. Hey, Harlem High School students, welcome back to a brand new year. I'm uh, Ms. Dawson Foley, and I have students uh, with the last names of F through L uh, this year as I'll be your assistant principal. So if you need assistance from myself or any of the other three assistant principals, uh, you would come into the student services office. Just go on in, talk to Miss Mary, let her know which assistant principal you would like to see for some added support, um, and she will let us know that you're waiting for us. Hey, welcome to the Guidance Counseling Office. If you need to see your counselor for any reason, whether it's something academic related or schedule change related, you would come into this office and head over to this desk right here. You can see who your counselor is by, again, your last name. And you would fill out one of the sheets for that guidance counselor, and then they will call you out of class. As you all know, social emotional health is a huge, huge important issue for everyone. If you ever are feeling like you need some extra support regarding your social emotional health, we have social workers in our building. If you look for the big IMC sign that you just saw and then head into this set of doors, there are three social workers located within the IMC setting. They are three different doors. And then there's two other social workers across the hall, which I'll show you where that's at. Come with me. No running in the halls. This door here will have access to two other social workers. Again, always just check with your teacher first and they could write you a pass. Thank you to the assistant principal team. I'm so happy that we have such a good team of assistant principals. And again, if you ever need anything, they are good resources for you to go to to get you what you need. I'm going to turn it over now to Ms. Hoffman. She's going to talk a little bit about athletics and activities.
It always helps to be successful in high school to be involved. So get involved in a sport, get involved in an activity. It always helps with that school spirit and it helps give you a little bit more of a well-rounded high school experience. We do have a very, very nice library here at Harlem High School and to tell you more about it is our librarian, Ms. Krippner. Good evening, Huskies. It is I, Ms. Krippner, your friendly librarian, and I've been asked to give you a few fun facts about the library. So the most important fun fact people wanna know is how many books can I check out? You can have up to five at a time. Now, if you're in a bind and you're doing research or something, you come see me. We'll set you up if you need more than that. Um, how long do I get to keep them for? Well, you get to keep them for uh, six weeks. At the end of the six weeks, you need to either return them or renew them. If you do neither, it's a nickel a day per item, which is why I recommend you don't take five and try not to take more than five. Um, I also recommend that you use the technology for good. That is, you put little dingy bells and reminders in your Google Calendar, in your phone, so that when those due dates approach and they are closer than you think, uh, something ticks off to remind you to do it. Also, make it a habit to check your email regularly. This is a grown-up skill, um, and right now the world of grown-ups functions in email, and you're gonna kind of need to make that adjustment. And to that end, the library will email you three days ahead of time to say, hey, by the way, your stuff's gonna be due, renew or return. Um, if you don't do that, I am gonna email you an overdue notice on Friday mornings. Uh, take care of it that Friday and then your parents won't get the same email on Sunday and you can just save yourself a whole world of, of panic there. All right, when can I come to the library? You can come during the class that you're in if you get a pass from your teacher and like, you know, you, you're all cut up in your work and everything's all, all, all copacetic there. Uh, you can always come during your lunch and you can come after school Monday through Thursday. Basically any day that there's a late bus, uh, you can come. Now we're not offering the library open for like open hangout this year because it's too hard to track who was sitting next to who and whatever. But if you want to come down, browse some books and check them out, uh, that's great. Uh, likewise, if you want to put stuff on hold and there's all kinds of great videos uh, on how to do that, um, we will deliver it to you and you don't even need to darken our doors. Ah, returning things. Uh, people are like, how do I return? There's a video on that. Uh, but the highlight is there's a book drop right inside the front door at the, like when you come in the main doors of the school, just turn hard right and the book drop is there and feel free to use it. And we check it every day. So there's that. Um, what all do we have in the library? Well, obviously we've got like 10,000 books. We, this is my shameless plug for book club. We offer an after school club. Uh, email me if you need more information about that. Um, we have tons of eBooks and digital audio. You can print stuff. It's a penny a page to print. So don't go hog wild. There's a video on how to do that. Uh, we offer interlibrary loans. So basically any title you can come up with, we can borrow from another library in Illinois. Uh, we have magazine and journal access, and coming soon, we'll have access to Overdrive through North Suburban Public Library, so their digital materials can be our digital materials, too. Uh, more, to, more to come on that. I think that's everything you need to know. Oh, most important, if you only heard one thing, look for an email from me, crack of dawn, tomorrow morning, that has all kinds of welcome information and links. If you have any questions at all, type L-E-A-H into your Harlem email. If you don't have Harlem email, take a screenshot of this and type it into your regular old Gmail. I get that too. Um, and we will talk to you soon. Happy hunting, people. Enjoy your first year. Thank you, Ms. Krippner, for giving us that tour of the resources available to our students at the IMC. This is all we have for you for the orientation. There's much, much more we could show you, but we want you to see a lot of it when you come here this evening. We want to be able to answer your questions. Anything that you need to know, let us know. We will help you. Please keep in mind where your resources are in the guidance office and student services in the main office, the resources that you have for, for, that we have for you, and where you can go to get help. Again, we are so excited for this school year and we're so excited to see you in the building. I am so proud to be your principal and I can tell you that I'm going to work as hard as I can as will everyone on staff here to make sure that you have a great experience, that you get what you need, and that you'll always be proud to be a Husky. We're going to see you very soon. We're so excited to start the school year and thank you so much for watching this orientation video.